prices at the top and we have all the different sizes Hi everyone, my name is Von Sun. This here is my website www.babycurse.com and we're going to be uploading a new product to this website. We're going to head into our WordPress dashboard and we're going to scroll down to products and then we're going to click add new product. Okay, so once it loads, you're going to head to your field here that says add product name. So this is where you're gonna put the name of your product over here where it says set product image on the on the right you see it highlighted here this is where you put your product image and this is your long description field right here and down here at the bottom you're gonna find your short description field I, I rarely use this and I'm gonna show you why soon so let's just go through the process of adding this product this is where I'm adding my product from, this website here. So we're adding the modern neutral triangles baby shoes. So we're gonna copy this here and we're gonna put this name in here. You wanna download these images either from the website or if your distributor or if your manufacturer gives you these images, you can use them. So now I'm gonna upload these images. And you can see that it's been uploaded here. Uh, this is optional, but it's good for SEO to name to name your stuff. So I'm gonna name this Trendy Baby Shoes. And let's give everything the same name. As I said, you, you gotta read more about this and how it ties into SEO. So right here, we're gonna click, at the bottom right corner, we're gonna click Set Product Image. So let's scroll down and on this side, you're going to see add product gallery image. That's over the right corner here under product gallery type. You click add product gallery images. So you click that and you head over to upload files up here beside media library. Then select files. It's the same process as uploading the the product image so once the images are uploaded you're going to click add to gallery and there they are now let's talk about the long description writing a product description sometimes might be a little tricky you have to write it to match seo requirements but that's another video. So next, what we're gonna do is assign a product category and that's right here on the right. So let's assign the category for this product. So this product ships from the USA. So I'm gonna click ships from the USA. The next thing I want to do is assign the correct product category or the product type right here, clothing and shoe. And we're going to select make primary. So let's scroll down to the end. This was a custom field added by my developer. In some cases, you can purchase a plugin to add brands to your WooCommerce site. So the brand for this is Trendy Baby Mock Shop. Here, we need to add a focus key phrase. This is if you have Yoast SEO installed. I have the Yoast SEO Premium because it has a lot more features. We're gonna use the key phrase, nice, cute, 
baby shoe. If you look in the right tab here on the readability, you see it says here, I don't have enough transition words, but the reading score is good. Passive voice is good. Consecutive sentences are good. So you have to make sure that your readability is okay because then Google won't be able to read it to rank you on their site. So let's head back to the SEO. My focus key phrase is nice, cute, baby shoe. If you head down here to SEO analysis, you're going to find all these problems with my key phrase. So the key phrase length is fine. We have a good amount of outbound links there, but the problems are number one, the key phrase is not shown in the introduction. Your key phrase or its synonyms do not appear in the first paragraph. Let's fix that. My key phrase is nice, cute baby shoe. Right here, I'm going to put looking for nice, cute baby shoe. Okay. Now let's have a look at it. Key phrase in introduction. Well done. Okay. The next thing is, so we're going to skip this one for now. This is a little tricky. We're going to use the key phrase density. The key, the key phrase was found one time. That's less than the recommended minimum of three times for a text of this length. So let's work on that. Remember, this is our key phrase. Nice, cute, baby shoe. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to put benefits of the nice, cute baby shoe. So soft soles in these nice, cute baby shoes are the perfect sole for your new walker or toddler. Now let's find somewhere else to put this key phrase. The perfect brand of nice, cute baby shoes. Features of the nice, cute baby shoes. Okay, let's go check our SEO. Let's see what it says. So we don't see the problem here anymore. So let's go down and where is it? Look, key phrase density. The focus key phrase was found five times. Okay, so the next step is your meta description length. It says no meta description has been specified Search engines will display a copy from the page instead. We do not want this. So we have to specify our meta description. Under Yoast SEO, scroll down and you're going to see Google Preview, Mobile Result, and Desktop Result. Okay, so we're working with mobile results right now. You're going to click edit snippet and here is your meta description and I'm going to paste mine here and I'm going to show you what's wrong with just copying and pasting a meta description in so let's scroll down and see what it says Now it says the meta description has been specified, but it does not contain the key phrase. Fix that. So let's, let's do this. So we're going to put nice, cute baby shoes from trendy mock. 
assist your baby with walking. So if you notice, you're gonna see this orange bar here. It means I have too many words. So let's try to trim this down. Oh, look at that. Not much needed. So we got that trimmed down. Let's see what it says now. Key phrase in meta description. Good job. All right. The next problem is the key phrase in title. Not all key phrase from your key phrase cute baby shoe appear in the SEO title. Try to use the exact match of your key phrase in the SEO title. What we want to do is change the SEO title. Okay, so I don't like using these. These are preset, so I usually get rid of them. Scroll to the top. And I copy the title and I put it here, but you have to make sure your key phrase is there. So my key phrase was nice, cute, baby shoes. So you have to make sure this bar remains green. So let's go see what it says. Key, key phrase in title. The exact match of the key phrase appears at the beginning of the SEO title. And that's important. It has to be at the beginning of the SEO title. The next problem that we're having now is image alt attributes. Out of 15 images on this page, only one has an alt attribute that reflects the topic of your text. I don't usually mess around with this, but you can if you want a better ranking on Google. So we're gonna skip these two for now, the key phrase distribution and the image alt attributes. And we're gonna skip to this because we want, oh, look at this, it's green. So if you look, our SEO is green, but it's still not enough because the key phrase is not in the slug. Let's fix that. Your slug is right here. So to make sure that the slug reflects your title, you just copy it in like this. And you scroll to the end. And look. Key phrase in slug. More than half of your key phrase appears in the slug. That's great. So now we have a green light SEO and a green light readability. So the next thing that we need to do is to input our prices. So this is not a simple product. This is a variable product. So we have to switch this from simple to variable. Select your tax status. For mine, it's reduced rate. We head to inventory and we give it a skew. So TBMNT. So I'm going to manage stock at the product level. I don't want to manage it at the variation level. I don't want to do that. So we're going to set our stock quantity here to two. We're not going to allow back orders. Low stock threshold. We're going to set that to two. And we're going to move to shipping. So the weight of my product is 0 0.065 pounds. So the length is 2.5 by 1.5 by 6 inches. My shipping class is shipped from the USA. So we can go into shipping classes on another video because this is, this is very important. Okay, so linked products. So we can do upsells or we can do cross sells. So I'm just gonna add one cross sell, which would be another trendy baby shoe. So let's add a random 
So let's add a random trendy baby shoe. The trendy baby mini mouse shoe. Then we're gonna skip to attributes. So we want custom product attributes. So we're gonna click add. So the name of our attribute is size. And you want it to be visible on the product page as well as used for variations. So we click, so we click them both. Now here's how you enter your variation values. I'm back to the products on this website. And these are my variations. Zero to three months, three to six months, six to nine, and so on and so forth. So if you notice, you have this line right here. So this line or this separator has to be included between each variation. So if you were to create a new variation, so three months separate six months and that's how you create two variations but these are the variations that i want so we're going to click save attributes and then we're going to head to the tab below which is variations so there are different options here add variation create variation from all attributes so this is what we want we want to create a variation from all attributes. Click go. Six variations added. If you open one of your variations, you're gonna see different options. Skew, enable stock management, manage stock. You're gonna see the regular, regular variation price, your sale price, your weight, length, width, height, the shipping class, so it's selected as same as parents, so we don't need to change the shipping class or the tax class. That's fine. So my my so my website has a plugin to show different currencies. So let's input some of these fields. The fast way to do it is to head to this field here, the top field that says add variation. The app I'm using, it won't show you the drop down menu, but when you click it, it's going to open a drop down menu. You're going to scroll to shipping and you're going to see length. And you're going to click go. We want our length for our variations to be 2.5 inches. You click OK. And look, 2.5 inches. That's the zero to three months variation. Let's try 18 to 24 months, 2.5, it's there. So we're gonna do the same thing for the rest of the fields. And all variations will be updated with this information. So you're gonna see the weight here, you're gonna see the length times width times height in inches. So now let's work on the skew. So head to your original SKU, you can copy that, head back to variations. And we have to create the SKUs individually. So this is how, so this is how I create my SKUs separately. So at, at the end, I assign a value that's unique to the variation. And we're going to click Save Changes. And all the SKUs are added. So the next step is to add prices. So we're going to click this variation, this Add Variation drop down again. And we're going to scroll to pricing and click set regular prices. We're going to click go. 
and we're going to select what the price of this product should be. In our case, it's $35. So if you click one of these variations, you're going to see the regular price has been set. And everything is calculated by the exchange rate. So I don't usually enter short descriptions and I'm going to show you why. So let's just put gibberish. So we're going to scroll up to the top and we are going to click publish. So how do we know that our product was published? We scroll and then we're going to see an update button instead of a publish button. So now we want to go to the product page. Okay. So I'm on my website. I'm going to head to the page where this product should be on, which is clothing and shoes. See the category here, baby and kids shoes. We're going to click that. And we're going to scroll and look for the product that we just uploaded. Do you see it? I do. It's right here. So we're going to click it. The prices match up. And look at this. This is why I do not use product chart descriptions. It moves the pricing, the sizes, and the add to cart button all the way down. And we don't want that. Let's get rid of this. So let's get rid of it. And we're going to see how much of a change it's going to bring. Click update. You're going to see this gray circle here. That means it's working. We're going to head back to the product. We're going to refresh the page. The price is at the top. And we have all the different sizes to choose from. And down here, we can see the product description. And that is how you properly upload a product to your WooCommerce WordPress store.